two-year-old who's sleepy, breathing fast, and quote-unquote has been peeing like a racehorse. She's pink, warm, and dry with rapid and deep respirations. All right, you have your scenario. Let's go ahead and get started. Grab your cheat sheet, Braslo tape, whatever you've got. But if you're using Braslo or hand heavy, remember red goes to the head and head to the heel. You can see that she falls into the zone. And now to Scott for your quick tip. So DKA, otherwise known as diabetic ketoacidosis, otherwise known as a little kid whose sugar is like a zillion. And if you're going to send a kid up to the pediatric ICU, the only thing that the pediatric ICU fellows want you to remember regarding kids in DKA is simply the child did not go into DKA in two hours. Therefore, please don't try to fix this kid in two hours. Because on transport, we see regrettably well-meaning places that say, you know what, I'm gonna fix that sugar. And I'm gonna drop that sugar from 880 down to 80. And if they give boluses of insulin and gallons of saline, you indeed can drop that sugar from 880 to 80. But if you drop the sugar from 880 to 80 very rapidly, how does the kid look? It's called dead. Because their brain swells, then they seize, then they die. The only thing the ICU wants you to remember beyond the basics is the kid did not go into DKA in three hours. Therefore, don't try to fix this sugar in three hours. They took a couple of days to go into DKA. They're in a hospital. You can take your time and slowly and safely bring them out of DKA as well.